Hello and welcome to Let's Talk Sports preview of the League Cup final taking place between Chelsea and Manchester City this coming Sunday. Well, we've got a Chelsea fan here and we've got a Manchester City hater here, so we're pretty much in basis, <laughs> coming on all bases, uh, ready to go. Of course, Chelsea uh, coming into this game uh, off uh, what could be an FA Cup decent result or it could be a bad result. We don't mm -hmm. know. We're recording this before uh, the final whistle is blown in that game. And uh, Manchester City coming into this one after a good victory against Newport at the weekend. Seeing them progress through to the quarterfinal stages of the FA Cup. I got, I got one question. Yes. Um, I was asking for refreshments. Where's our Carabao cans? Where's your cowboy? Yeah, yeah. Well, they're, they're the sponsor in the event. Where, where are not, they? We're not sponsors. We're not sponsoring us. So we're not. Gonna, <laughs> we're helping we're gonna, you, aren't we? We're not going to show their products. Are oh, we? That's well. why I called it Lee Cup, not the Carabao Cup. Yeah, good, good on you. I'm yeah. alright. Yeah. Yeah, but now you've ruined that because you <laughs> yeah. said their name. Yeah, but you've yeah. got it on your jumper. Do you realise? Well, I'm not jumper. wearing it. Yeah, I know, but you do. <laughs> you do Chelsea have been sponsored by. We've got completely off track here. We need to get back to the brief. The Carabao. Why are they sponsoring Chelsea as well? Why don't they just pick one? Anyway, anyway, right. Chelsea's. Path, I don't know why he brought it up. Uh, you brought it up. <laughs> and Chelsea's path to the final went as follows: a good victory away from home to begin with uh, in the third round against Liverpool, two goals to one. Hazard having that beautiful run in from the right hand side to slot it into the bottom corner of the net. Uh, then there was a win against Derby at home, three goals to two. Bournemouth at home in the quarterfinals, one goal to nil. Uh, Spurs away in the first leg of the semi-final, lost that one nil, but came back to win the second leg, two one, and then four two one penalties. Jack, arguably between the two sides, Chelsea have had the more difficult path to <laughs> the final because A, they haven't made it easy for themselves <laughs> and B, they played the more difficult teams. Um, do you think as well, the, the proven point that Sarri needs to make that he is a decent manager who can win trophies um, is the reason why he needs to win this cup this coming Sunday against City? I think he needs to win a trophy. I mean, that's that's obviously what's um, apparent. He hasn't won a trophy yet in his managerial career, yeah. and this is his you know first opportunity at doing that. So um, you know, I think um, you know Sarri has to go into this wanting to win this cup. I mean, obviously. If we talk about league form, we have just played Manchester City. Mm. I don't know if I really wanted to go into detail with that, mm. um, but we did lose 6-0. Um, so <laughs> um, I think you know he, he obviously needs to change approach when you look at it as well. You know Wembley's a wider pitch than, than what we're playing as well. So um, it, it's it's going to be a difficult test, but I think you know Sarri has to go in with this mentality of he wants to win obviously Chelsea want to win it but Man City and Pep Guardiola are going to be a tough test but you know with the performances that we've had in the last month or so you know Bournemouth and Manchester City we need to you know put in a performance yeah you need some of the performances I'm sorry if everyone just saw me like corpse and laugh because I just can't get over the fact that Jean <laughs> wearing Jean shirt Jean shirt <laughs> <laughs> I've been wearing it all day. I didn't see it before in the studio. <laughs> Double denim, but, mate. I, what I was going to say is that... You can ask me about what I'm going to wear. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What I was going to say is that you're wearing sky blue to represent Manchester City. Oh, shit. Um, uh, and in this one. Yeah, I got grey. And, and their, their uh, path to the, the final itself, uh, a 3-0 win away against Oxford in the third round, followed by a 2-0 win at home against Fulham. And then it went to penalty, surprisingly, against Leicester after a 1-1 draw. Was that, that at one. Leicester, wasn't it? It was, yeah, it was yeah. at Leicester. They ended up winning 3-1 on penalties. Then it was the biggest result in 31 years for the football club, a thrashing of Burton Albion away uh, at home sorry, by nine goals to nil. And then on the away trip, they showed sympathy on them and gave them a, a, <laughs> a one nil defeat instead. One nil. So, you know, City looking to go into this final. We've already mentioned on the show, Jamie, as well, about the prospect of City potentially trying to win a quadruple this year. Yep. It all begins now with this final against Chelsea. Yeah. How how important do you think this is this game is for City for the rest of the season because they're still in the the Premier League hunt and they're still in the Champions League hunt as well. Do you think potentially Pep Guardiola could rotate things around in aspects of those fixtures? Too? I, th I think it's one of those games where people could say it could be a distraction, you know, for what else is bigger later on in the season. But you know, you hit you're in the final now. You, you, your aim is to win it. Yeah. You know, for any team in any sport, you're there to go and win it. Um, I think this is a great opportunity. I think the one thing I like about the League Cup is it doesn't clash with the FA Cup, the Premier League and all that. Okay, you have to play a Premier League game in midweek, but so what? It's three months before the big competitions come by and you know, you've know you got enough time to focus on them after the League Cup, whether you win it or not. But I think it also determines a club as well because, it, for example, if Chelsea don't win it, then they might look... I mean, we, we don't know what the result's going to be on Monday night between United and Chelsea in the FA Cup, but 
um, at least Chelsea might have to look at the FA Cup if they beat Man United if they don't win the League Cup. It's, it, it, it leaves a few things out, out in the woodwork after after a League Cup final. So I think for Man City, I think they're no doubt the favourites. You know, you can't, as much as I hate to say it, you can't doubt a team like Man City when they thrashed these lots 6 0 literally like over a week ago. Yeah. Um, but it's a Cup final and anything can happen. But I just have a feeling it's, it could be just like last year where. Arsenal were up against uh, Man City and I looked at that game and think maybe this is the the trophy Wenger could just do of winning because I looked at him for yeah. it could be his last season you know who wants to end it with a trophy maybe the League Cup or the FA Cup whatever whatever floated his boat but yeah again Forrest beat them in the opening all right, round alright yeah. <laughs> yeah, just thought I'd remind you in a good way yeah. no no in a good way as in Forrest beat Arsenal in the FA Cup yeah you, you, that's just great we anyway. ended up getting knocked out this year by them but Anywho, <laughs> but anyway, sorry, well, I was fin- I'll just finish up. But what I was saying was as well is uh, I don't know why Adam Davis is wiping his Lucas aid with his jumper. Floor. I know, but he's j- with his jumper. He said it's not working. H- huge drama, really. It's happening behind the camera at, at Let's Talk Sport. Um, yeah, I forgot what I was talking about. Okay, let's move on then. <laughs> All right, so Chelsea and City have already played against each other uh, twice this season already. Um, they haven't played against. They haven't played. City at Stamford Bridge yet, have we? We have, we won that. We have, they won that. So three times then, actually. Oh, yeah. uh, so City, of course, got the 6 0 win. Chelsea got the win at Stamford <laughs> Bridge, but also they played in Community Shield at Wembley. So also they've already played at Wembley this season. Chelsea lost that one by two goals to nil. Um, which, which game do you think this one would be the most similar to then out of those three? Do you think Chelsea will be looking to, um, to, to essentially make a statement against City, or do you think they will? try and get the narrow win and just hope that they can scrape by in order to keep themselves a bit more fresh for you know the, the Europa League and still keeping themselves intact if they are in the FA Cup as well as potentially still trying to finish in the top four. I think the it's, I, I, do you know what? I think it's, it's really tough to sort of compare uh, games that have happened in the past because Community Sealed, Sarri was what? In charge for a week and a half yeah. <laughs> before that game? Yeah. You know, he hadn't even probably met most of the players in probably, that time. He probably haven't even moved all his stuff into the office yet. Yeah. Put all his trinkets down for good luck. Yeah. So, at the <laughs> I, I, think, I think that result was inevitable. Um, the one at Stamford Bridge, you know, that again, that was you know quite a long time ago when actually we were playing well and, and we were you know, consistently um, you know, winning games. We were unbeaten at that point as well, I think, yeah. at some point. So I think we have to look at how we performed um, at the Etihad and really we didn't, we didn't perform um, so we need to look at uh, changing that you look at where the Etihad and Wembley sort of the same size pitches in terms of, of, of whip yeah. um, so I think we need to again learn um, you know what went wrong in that in that match and how we can then bring that to Wembley because you know we're good at Wembley you know we, we won the FA Cup final against these lot last season so mm. you know we can play well at, at Wembley it's just you know whether Phil this is a bastard <laughs> <laughs> sign a new deal mate uh, it's just whether we can oh, no. bring that um, you know, tactical um, sort of prowess that Sarri's looking for into this game and, and play it well at Wembley. You know, we haven't done that yet. Um, and um, yeah, I mean, obviously, we did win against Malmo uh, <laughs> 2 1. <laughs> but again, depending on how we play, uh, um, you know, in, in, in the, the game against yeah. Manchester United. Uh, and how we set out and, and how we play that game again will depend on, on, on the weekend I think for us it's momentum at the minute and we seem to be struggling with that so it all depends really on, on how we get on with them Score lines, Jamie you go first oh, It's hard because like, I don't really want Man City to win <laughs> you know what I'm just going to go out there and say Chelsea to win 2-1 mm. I have no reasons for it I just want Chelsea to Do win Do you think Higuain could make an impact? You know what? Actually, I can he play in the League Cup? He can, can't he? Well, yeah, he, he wasn't. He's uh, it's just they always have that cup tied thing, don't they? Play, he played in the Europa League the other day. He's allowed to play yeah. in that. So, yeah. so I, because AC Milan played in the Champions League. Well, it's, it's it's a good it's a good it's a good point <laughs> it's a good point though because Agrain could now you know this is the kind of match he'd want when yeah. at, when at, at any club so. You know, for him to get his first silverware in England, uh, if he could do anything like he did against Huddersfield the other week, then you know, Man City better be careful. Mm. Scoreline two one. Two, two, two one, one as well. Chelsea, I think. Um, it depends as well. I think obviously, I think Higuain could make an impact. Can, but can Chelsea's defence stop this promising City attack at the moment that's doing so well? Well, that, that's completely up to the the, uh, the, the Chelsea defence and yeah. whether they decide will, to turn will up. Will Sarri I think. decide <laughs> that Kante is a better player than Jorginho in this final? Do you think? Well, 
I bloody hope so. <laughs> I think uh, also bringing Emerson in as, as left back. I think he performed well yeah. uh, against Malmo midweek, um, and I think you know at the minute he seems to be doing a, a better job in that position. I think playing Hudson Odoi as well in the final probably won't do that, but I think in terms of pace and because Hudson Odoi is, is a player that most teams in the Premier League aren't used to mm. because we aren't we're not playing him. So putting him on, you know. It might surprise the City defence, I doubt it, but it might surprise the City defence. But I just think we will hopefully have something to edge the game yeah. and hopefully City will be too worried about other I think, going I on. Think you're oh, right. yeah, 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 I am wearing Dumble Denim. <laughs> double check. OK, uh, I, I'm going to go for a 2-1 City win. I think they're just too strong, in my opinion. <laughs> Boo! Uh, I, don't, I don't think Sorry's got it at all. All right, <laughs> <laughs> Just try and keep as PG as possible. All right, what are your predictions for the game yourself? Let us know in the comment section below the video. Don't forget to like it, subscribe. I'm not sorry. Less talk sport content. We should see you all very soon. You need to calm down. <laughs>